Welcome once again to our Consulting into Retirement YouTube video series. My name is Christopher Newfeld of Newfeld Legal and this is an ongoing video series that is intended to help yourself and myself and many others expand upon their professional career and allow them to continue on and have the basis for a retirement approach that allows them to continue consulting, advising into their later years, even when they pull back from full-time work in their current profession. In this particular video, we're going to look at the aspect of focusing your online presence into niche areas. The internet is so vast whether it's from search engines to YouTube to social media that you're going to find that there is so much out there that people are not looking for generalists and that is the beauty of the internet and the challenge of the internet so instead what you need to be doing is hammering down on the niches the niches are critical those specific areas where not only have you been working for decades in your field but you have certain areas of expertise or particular interest where you're in, able to speak on and to show your credentials your experience your insights and thereby draw people in to pay for your consulting services your professional services. This is what's important in this realm and what we're trying to focus on. We're focusing on individuals who are professionals, who've got decades of experience. We're not fix focusing on people who are trying to learn something new and trying to come in at the ground level. Instead, our focus in this series and the focus that you should be having is on taking your years and years of experience and using that to build your ability to provide focused, focused, focused insights and from there getting really solid work that pays well. And that is what you need to be doing as a consultant. People look to consultants for their experience, for their insights. They're looking for something very specific. And they're not looking for them to have them there all the time. They have a specific problem, a specific task, a specific assignment. And they need somebody who can address that spe specific aspect. So what do you have to do? You have to present yourself as being capable of satisfying that specific area and you definitely would have it if you're watching this YouTube video series because what you're promoting is you're promoting high levels of capacity and capability. So you have to demonstrate that. You cannot simply defer to someone else to create your websites, create your YouTube videos, to do your social media. You need to try to can do it yourself because you are really the best person to communicate those specific things. Similarly, since you've been dealing with people who are not necessarily professionals, but other, let's say, business people, who come to you for your expertise for years and years and years, you've learned how to interpret the technicalities and present it in a way that other people understand it. That is an amazing skill that you need to be able to confer both in the written word, which is on the websites, on the blogs, on the uh, postings that you put on LinkedIn, and similarly in the YouTube videos and other videos that you produce and 
generate for people, you need to be able to show those people that you understand this. You can make them understand it. But the fact that you show that you understand it and they see that understanding does not mean that they're going to be able to do it themselves. What they're looking for is to find someone who has the capacity to tackle the problem in front of them. Saying, this is, these are the problems, we've dealt with them, this is how it's been dealt with before. In a five minute video on, in 500, 700 words, is not really all that much. It's only the beginning. These consulting projects are probably going to take weeks of work to be done. But the people have to know that they have somebody capable. So what you're doing is you're giving them every source to find you. Video sources, informational sources, search engine sources. So they're coming and they're saying, who in the world is capable of responding to this, dealing with this? And what you need to be do is put yourself out as that one person who's capable. And you need to be doing it now. You need to be creating these niches. Because slowly, eventually, other people are going to pick up on it. And you're going to be behind them. Why not move on it now? The limited number of people are out there. You have the possibility to overtake them. Or be on par with them. But still, that way at least they can find you. And as, soon, as you build up more content, people are going to check. They're just going to scrutinize. And they're going to say, this person says they can do it, but you are showing how you did it. You are showing that you have a sense of it, that you can communicate what it means. The more information you provide showing your breadth of knowledge in a specific niche, the more comfortable people will be even before they pick up the phone, even before they send you that initial email. And because of that, when they actually do speak with you, they have actually sold themselves often 80%, 90% of the way. And all that you're left to do is close off the deal. But that only comes with the ability to present your niches. And it can be more than one niches. It's probably advantageous to have multiple niches that you present to people, multiple specialties, and focus those specialties individually on each of the social media, each of the web pages or websites, each of the YouTube videos. That is the problem with the competition, and it's the benefit of the competition. They provide a generalist attitude. They provide an everything attitude to stuff. And that leaves people with questions before they make that initial contact. You want to try to get past that question, skepticism, uncertainty, and you want people coming in already somewhat confident that they're going to find the appropriate person. So that is what you need to be doing. You need to focus, create the niche, identify it, build on it, show people that you have the ability to tackle it. And that is how I strongly believe, and it's been shown in my own practice, that you will be able to advance this area as you move forward in your career and as you move forward into consulting practice after you leave the 9 to 5 or 9 to 9 of regular business operations. We hope you found this YouTube video informative. Uh, if you did, please like it subscribe to our YouTube channel given the fact that our intention is to continue to expand and notify you as to new opportunities and concepts that we create and also provide us with your comments because it is through those comments that we are going to be able to build upon this video series address those points either directly to yourself if we are capable of it, or alternatively, we are able to address those in subsequent YouTube videos, which we hope you will find informative and beneficial. Thank you.